So I've been making some pots off the hump yesterday, um, which is a video up there if you want to have a look at it. So just basically little bowls, test bowls for um, like a raccoon firing, um, maybe a stoneware firing as well in the raccoon kiln. So I'm going to try a different way of centering it. So centering it is basically getting this right in the very centre of the wheel. So obviously that's not centred, that's kind of centred. But to get it exactly centred, I'm going to try tapping it. So spin the wheel as if you are throwing sort of thing, throwing the pace and just tap it and it will knock it into the centre. So that's pretty much centred. Um, when I cut it off the wheel yesterday, it's kind of higher at one side and at the other. So I'll sort that out as well. So basically stop the wheel. I'm going to put three little sausages all the way around it. So when I'm doing this, I'm pushing down because I'm pushing this against there a little bit and I don't want it to push it back off centre when I've just spent time centering it. So three little sausages. Sometimes it sticks to the wheel head itself, but these are a little bit dry, so they're not. So that's secured now. I've got trimming tools, which are like loop tools. So these kind. Um, and all I'm doing is getting this rough bit off, really. So spin the wheel. And then just start taking that off. I'm at a slightly weird angle because I've got the tripod right next to my arm. And I don't normally trim the bottoms because normally I wear it off and it's totally flat but you can see that that's higher at one side. So I'm just going to neaten that off a little bit. And then finger on the bottom and just push against it a little bit and that like slightly burnishes it a tiny little bit. Um, and these are just for little test tiles so I'm not that bothered they don't have to be perfect because the glazes are probably going to come out rubbish on them um, but yeah so that's a little a little bowl there and it's nice and trimmed on the bottom so you can see that it's followed that curve from the outside down to the bottom there and there's a nice smooth flat bottom for it to sit on the table So this is the finished ones, um, basically I've trimmed them all so they've all got nice smooth bottoms now and then they're ready to be dried out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay them out on a board, put them outside because it's nice and sunny um, and then they'll be dry enough probably to fire on tomorrow or Monday and I'll show you the results then.